Hey guys, in this week's video, we're gonna show you around our toolboxes and show you just how much you can fit inside them. So we've got two different vehicles with different size toolbox. So one of them will be relevant for whichever build you might be considering. Firstly, we've got the American truck, huge Ram 1500 with some absolutely massive 63 litre toolboxes. And then on the other side, we've got a converted 200 series. We've used this because the depth of the toolboxes, we use it for the 200 series, but we also use it for our entire domestic range. So anybody looking at ranges and Hilux is going to give you a really good idea of what you can fit inside those boxes. All right, so we're going to start with the 200 series first. Uh, the slides that we use on these are 10 inch slides and they're load rated for 30 kilos. Uh, it's a 47 litre box. Now if you have a domestic ute such as a Ranger or a Hilux they're going to be a very similar depth and obviously uh, depth that way and depth this way uh, but they are going to be just a little bit short so we're probably going to come up to about here but still heaps of space to fit in what you need. Now we've got a recovery set it's one of the most common things that people carry on their vehicles. So I'm gonna load it with uh, one full recovery set uh, so we can see exactly how much room uh, we've got to work with. So I forget how many piece uh, recovery set this is. Okay, six. So this is a six piece recovery set um, and it's one of the more comprehensive sets that you'll come across. So if you can fit this in, no matter what kind of recovery set you've got, you're gonna be able to fit yours in. Up number three here. Now a lot of people ask us uh, about our toolboxes because they are a little bit different to a lot of other products on the market. Um, they ask us why we've done it and how they work. So we're obviously showing you how they work, but the why we've done it. When we designed our product, it was from a blank piece of paper and we looked at how people have been doing things for a long time and there are a few things that we felt we could do a little better. There are a few benefits to this system. Firstly, of course, everything's within its own shell and it's a bucket that sits within its own shell. So you can load things up like this, and when you pull the door open, everything's not gonna fall out. The other main thing is that all our moving parts here sit behind the rubber seal, which means that when you're driving, absolutely everything is pretty much airtight. So it's dustproof, it's waterproof, and what we don't have is hinges sat here right behind the rear tires which of course are flicking all your mud and sand and everything else up uh, and over time you can get the degradation there so with this everything's behind the seal it keeps it clean and it keeps it working for years to come as you see in here so we've got the nine piece recovery set um, everything's fitted in there uh, i don't even have to push it down there's no need to squeeze it everything's in there real comfy pull it shut and there we go, we're good to go. Everything's waterproof and dustproof in there now. Now, of course, you've also got the drawer on the other side. So what that enables you to do is separate your muddy recovery gear uh, from your tools and uh, other items that you might want to make sure keep clean. So we've preloaded this one for you just to show exactly how much you can fit in there. So in here, we've got spanners, we've got drills, we've got socket sets, um, Allen key set, pretty much anything that you might need to take away on the road with you. So once again, the separation there of your two items and of course, Course, we've still got the massive tunnel drawer at the back so our tunnel drawers come in one meter or 1.2 meter sizes so we've still left heaps of space there for anything else you might be carrying on your journey all right so now we're going to move over to the big boy so American trucks the architecture of the vehicle gives us so much more space to work with so if you have a look inside that box absolutely massive 63 liters the slides on these are also rated for an even bigger load rating. So we've got a 40 kilo load rating on this. Uh, I think you go hard pressed to fill these over 40 kilos. Um, whatever tools and anything you put in there, uh, you're gonna be well within the limits of the, uh, of the, of the slides. Um, another option on this, because we use a different loom on American trucks, also allows us to utilize uh, in toolbox lighting. So little lights there, and as we always say, uh, at night that is plenty enough to light the whole thing up. You can see exactly what you're doing. It is just for American trucks, but if you do have a Ram or a Chev or a Ford, then, uh, then that's definitely an option for you uh, because it's a different loom. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna chuck everything from this into here and then see what space we've still got left to work with. If we've got a bit more space, then we might chuck a few extra things in as well. So we'll just start transferring over from, uh, from one to the other. Now I'm doing it in no particular order. There's plenty of space in there to chuck things in however you need. All 
Alrighty, so that is everything that we had in the smaller box. So going to the 63 litre box, you see you've just got acres of space left to work with. So we've got a few extra bits on the back here. Uh, I'm gonna pop them in and see how far we get uh, before we fill them up. So nice big one here, chuck that in. Now I'm gonna be a wee bit careful of the placement of this because it is a bit heavier, but that's nice and in there. There's a little bit of movement, but not too much. So we'll carry on. This one I think we can pop up at the back here banner set going in as well another few bits and bobs whatever you might need to carry this is you know probably a bit excessive most people aren't going to load them up this much but we do want to show you it's possible weight wise and it's possible in terms of the size that you've got to work with as well and finally pretty much run out of stuff now but we're going to pop the drill in there as well now I'm going to put the drill in here I'm going to be a bit careful of the placement of this what you do need to make sure of is that your compression locks have still got the room to move there. So that's plenty of room, I'm quite happy with that. So let's see if that one closes. Now the drill is sticking on that one, so we'll just adjust the placement of it. I think we can swap these two around. I'm gonna put that one there, and that I think is gonna be absolutely perfect. So all in there, give it a bit of a push, because again, the compression is there to make sure you're fully dust and water sealed, and we're good to go. So massive amount, not getting anywhere close to the uh, to the full capacity, not getting anywhere close to the uh, load rating either. All right, so we'll open her back up. So let's bring it out there. Uh, once again, everything packed in nicely. Uh, I guess I probably should point out, because we've just transferred everything from there to there, no particular order, we've just kind of chucked it in. Uh, if you were to take a bit more time and effort and care, you could definitely pack it in a slightly better way than I have. And that way you'll just have even more space left over for other things that you might need. All right, so to put it into perspective, We've taken everything out, we've laid everything out on the ground. So in the American toolboxes here, you can fit all of this and probably, if you take a bit of care, a little bit more. All right guys, well that wraps up this week's video on the toolboxes. We've been through size, we've been through weights, we've been through lighting, different options for different vehicles. Um, thanks so much for watching. If you watched it and you didn't hate it, please give us a like. Uh, and if you've got any suggestions or comments, then do put them in the uh, comments section below because we always uh, are interested to read them. Uh, we'll see you back next time for another Traytech video. Gotta be enough.